Hey, in this screencast, we're going to talk about themes, because that's an area where CSS variables come in really handy. And you might think, well, I'm not going to allow my users to switch themes on my site anyway, so why do I need to learn this? Well, I'm not just talking about user-specific themes, but also component-specific themes, and that's a much more normal use case. For example, could be that you want to mark an item in your e-commerce store as purchased or added to cart, or it could be that you have a section of your site, maybe an admin section, which has a different theme. Perhaps it's darker than the website itself. Or as we are going to do, perhaps you want to feature something on your site. And by simply giving the item a featured class, make it stand out from the rest. So that's what we're going to do here now. We want to simply be able to add a featured class to one of these items and thereby make it stand out from the rest. We basically want to be able to do like this featured, which should result in a style change for both the div here itself and the h1 and button. And normally, in order to do this, you'd have to create a featured class and then also target the button and also the h1 tag. So you'd result in quite a lot of extra CSS in order to achieve that. But the beautiful thing with CSS variables is that you can scrap all of this. And inside of this featured class here, we're simply going to change the value of a few variables. We're going to override them, which we learned in the previous screencast. I've cheated a little bit and copied in the new values for yellow and red in here and simply paste that in and boom, as you can see, now this project D item stands out from the other items. It's not a particularly nice color, but it proves the point. So what happens here is that the H1, which is inside of featured, now refers to the red value, which we have declared here and not the red value we declared up here. And also the button, it's red and yellow, now refer to the local values for red and yellow. Now we can add featured to this item here as well, for example, run the code. And here you can see now both of these are featured. So technically, we're just doing the same thing that we did in the screencast where we were overriding variables. However, now we've put it in a more useful context. Okay, that was it. I'll see you in the next screencast.